Hi, welcome to another Derek Does. Today, we're doing this. This is my Eastman leather. It's actually the only Eastman leather thing I have currently. Uh, it's a B2 cap, and it's what the servicemen, uh, mostly uh, gunners and mechanics, and anyone who actually had a cold head that wanted a, a hat, they would pick one of these up. Uh, either in trade or they were actually issued this. It's a shearling cap, much like a uh, B3 or a D1 jacket or a B6 jacket or the Urban jacket that I've shown you. Only the big difference is this is a cap and it's only about a quarter inch shearling all the way around and on the inside. Uh, it has a horse hide brim on it. It's a really simple design. I've had this cap for probably 10 years at least, uh, Eastman Leather had a sale, like a seconds, uh, way back in the day, and I've always wanted a B3, or sorry, a B2 cap, and um, they're all kind of expensive, uh, but they were having a sale, and it was, uh, I think it was like $70, and so I ordered it and got it, and I love it, and I've worn it ever since. Uh, it's basically my winter cap, when it's not like bitter cold, where I need, uh, to cover my ears because sometimes I'll wear this like if I'm going on a walk and then what you can do is you can lower the sides there and now you've got a nice wind block all the way around. I'll show you a close-up of the hat and I'll take it apart and you can take a look at it and all that sort of thing but um, it's a really great cap. It goes great with obviously an A2 or it goes with any older military uh, World War II jacket, but also just with everyday uh, things. I wear it just with a sweater or something like that, where it's just a little chilly, uh, where I'll just the ball cap doesn't do it, and this does, uh, because I'm a little short on hair up there, so sometimes I need a little warmth uh, to keep my head warm. And this is perfect, and it stays out of the way. I've got a nice brim for um, sun and that sort of thing. It's just like a ball cap, only it's shearling and it's warm. Uh, these caps uh, are made by other companies. Uh, Eastman makes a really great hat uh, cap. Uh, they come, uh, they're not one size fits all. They are sized like a real hat is. So this is a seven and three eighths. Uh, they come, I think like a six and seven eighths, maybe be the smallest all the way up to probably a seven and three quarter, I'd assume. Uh, that's generally the hat range. Um, Anyway, this is the B2 cap, and it's from Eastman, and I'll show you some close-ups with it. So here's the cap. Normally I put it on the hanger, but I can't really do that. Uh, as you can see, it's a really pretty pretty hat. Uh, it's, it's not flashy. It's kind of subdued a bit. Uh, this is all shearling brown, just like a, like a normal flight jacket or anything like that. Here is the thick uh, horsehide brim. You can see that, and it's got a little, they, they did it where they put a little trim around there, so it's nice, you know, it's nothing, you know, phenomenal, but it does the job. Um, but I can see once you start bending this, uh, so like a lot of guys would have it bent up like that a little bit, and you can do that, uh, it's, it's pretty common. Uh, I keep it kind of flat, but obviously this will take shape. Here's the inside, and you can see it's nicely done. Uh, and the tag. Eastman did a nice job reproducing the uh, B2 cap. And again, if this is in the 7 and 3 8 And of course, this comes in different sizes depending on the size of your head. But you can see it's really toasty. It's nice. It's, it's not real thick. You can see that. It's just like a quarter inch, which is really nice. Um, you're not wearing a, a big giant hat, you know, that's an inch and a half thick of shearling. It's just this nice thin, and then that just folds down when it's cold or it's windy and you want to keep keep everything. And it looks like that when it's full, kind of like a hunter's cap almost. And then just to get it out of the way, it folds back up. I'm actually going to try to make some of these if I can. I'm picking up the machines to do it. Um, seems like it'd be a fun project to try. 
not too difficult. Uh, and if it does work out, then some favorable uh, results. It's just getting a, a pretty thick piece of horse hide there that's going to hold up too. It's a nice cap. So what I'll do now is I'll just do a little spin so you can kind of see how it looks all the way around. Now one thing you've probably seen pictures of the old guys, they would actually, they tip it up like that, gets it out of the way so they can work on an engine or they can get close to something and this way it doesn't get in there. Uh, you just have to tip it up before you actually do that because it is kind of hard uh, with this uh, pretty thick leather. Uh, and a lot of times they'll have like their name painted on the, on the side, some sort of nickname, you know, like Tex or something like that. Uh, and you'll see that a lot. Uh, also, a lot of times they'll, they'll roll them so that they're more like this. I want to keep it like more of a cap, but you can actually roll it so that it's got a bit of a uh, kind of a duck bill almost going up keeps it up higher. Uh, I don't know, it might be something I'll do in the future, uh, but I use it like when I'm driving and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice to keep it low just to keep the, the glare out. Um, this is the B2 cap from Eastman. Uh, they still make it, you can buy it. Uh, you can buy, you can still find an original every once in a while. They're not cheap though. They're almost the same price as buying a reproduction. So you might as well just buy a reproduction uh, because that way you know that the, the seams are gonna hold up because if you buy a 60, 70, 70 year old hat now, uh, there are there is chances that uh, the cotton stitching may actually come apart over time. And who knows what condition the shearling itself is in or the hat. They're great for display, that sort of thing. But if you're just gonna wear them every day, I would do that. Just like an A2, uh, originals are fantastic, but I'd be scared of destroying an original, uh, like a reproduction, like this one from Arrow, uh, it, and you can watch, I have a video on this one too. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter because you're breaking it in and it's your jacket. It's not, you know, a piece of history that you're destroying. Uh, that's just my own thought on that sort of thing, but to each his own. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. I'll try to help you as much as I can uh, with what knowledge I do have and um, appreciate everybody who is a subscriber. And I will see you on the next Derek Does.